Hey everyone. So this is going to be a short video on integer division. So as you can see, I got my variables set up here. Uh, I've named them after the numbers they represent so that it's easier to kind of follow through. Um, so let's get started. Um, I figured it's probably the easiest to just get into the math and show you by doing rather than kind of explaining everything first. So let's just check it out. Okay, so first we're going to do 10 divided by... 2. So everyone knows 10 divided by 2 should give us 5, so let's try running it. And sure enough, in the console window, we get 5. Right? No problems there. The integer 10 divided by the integer 2, we get the integer 5. Okay, now what happens when we replace the 2 with 30? So 10 divided by 30. So let's just, just to show you on the calculator what we should get. 10 divided by 30 we should get 0.33333, right? So I'm gonna do 10 divided by 30. Let's see what happens. Oh, whoa, zero? What the hell happened? Well, integer division happened. So let's see. Let's try doing this now. Instead of 30 the integer, let's try putting 30 the double. Well, wait, that's three. There we go. Now it's fixed. 30 the double. Let's try this one. Ah, now we're good. 0.333. Okay, so what happened? And what is integer division exactly? So basically, if you do division using only integers, so no doubles or longs or anything, just integers are involved, what happens is it forces the result to be an integer. All right, so when you normally do, again, 10 divided by 30, you would get the whole 0 0.3333333, right? But this is not an integer. This is a double. And an integer, you can't have decimals. You need whole numbers. That's the definition of an integer. What Java will do is actually truncate or cut off the entire decimal. No rounding. It's also worth noting that you don't actually have to assign integer values into variables to do integer division, you could just do it by just typing the numbers straight into system op print or wherever, right? So here I have 99 divided by 100. And again, this should be 0.999, but just to just prove it to you guys, we'll do 99 divided by 100, right? 0.99, right? However, when we run this program, we will get zero. Because again, the 0 0.99, it's 0 0.99, and the 99 just gets cut off, and we're left with 0. So what do we do again if we don't want integer division to happen? Just convert one of them into a double. And you can do so simply by adding a 0 0.0 on any one of the values. And then you run, and 0 0.99. And I could have easily switched that again, that 0, 0.0, to the 100, and you still get 0 0.99. 